Hi everyone, how's everybody today? How's your Monday going? How's your weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. The weather is getting really good. It is hot, 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 hot here today. 92 on the East Coast. So it's amazing. It's great to have the summer in. It's great that people are going, you know, carefully to gigs and concerts are slowly coming back. That's fantastic. And I just hope all of you are great. Let me know what you're, you've been doing for the weekend. And also, how's your Monday going? So here's a tune from me, from the garden. And also, I'm using my custom pink bow from the shop which, as you know, a lot of players have it. And also my Matthias violin or fiddle, whatever you want uh, to call it. And um, some tunes from my mother's book, Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle Tutorial. Hope you like it. And here we go. I have a tune for you this week, as usual, from Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle tutorial book and CD available on MaraidNesbittViolin.com. And I have a reel for you this week, and it's called The Maids of Mitchellstown, and it's on page 35 of the book. <laughs> So great to see all the comments going in there. Thanks, guys. Um, such great comments. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Hi from Christchurch, New Zealand. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful place that is. Thanks so much, John. Lots of, of people. Canada. Hi, Shilji. Mike, two weeks in a row that I can watch live. Amazing, Mike. And I know you're at a Celtic Woman concert, you were saying. I think you were saying that back here. Um, get that up here. Went to two Celtic Woman shows the weekend, um, Bethel Woods and Williamsport. Wow, amazing. I was in um, Bethel Woods myself, uh, mm, I think it was about a week and a half ago, uh, at The Who. So that was amazing. That was fantastic. And hi, Sinead, how's it going? Latest package over the weekend. Thanks so much for personalizing the postcard. Thank yes, of course. You're welcome, Sinead. That was really special. I put it on my music stand next to my fiddle book. That is amazing, Sinead. Thank you so much for supporting the website, always being so supportive. And, you know, I always put in the extra, extra effort. Everyone, I sign everything personally and include little, little gifts as well. So hope you liked those. Hiya, Jim. How's it going? New Zealand, that's John. Yeah, fantastic. Canada. Shilji, thank you so much for, for tuning in. How's it going? What song are you singing now, Shilji? You can tell us here. Um, Shilji's a lovely singer. And um, hello from the foothills, foothills of the Smoky Mountains. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so glad you liked that. And um, so uh, dates are already being added for Celtic Spells. So I hope you're following Celtic Spells on Bands in Town and also on Instagram at Celtic Spells. Really easy at Celtic Spells. So we're gearing ourselves up for 2023, folks. So here's a little taste of Celtic Spells. <laughs>
magic spells. Two hearts are forbidden love. One life, one dream. A voyage to a new land across the sea. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the comments. Um, somebody was saying about um, getting tickets for the Gallo Theatre. Um, they're on sale, guys. <laughs> Actually, the first concert is nearly sold out. So, um, yeah, so the Gallo Theatre, I'm so delighted to be playing there. Um, it's the most amazing venue. Celtic Spells are so delighted to be playing there. And, yes, tickets are on sale. So you'll see the links in all my socials and um on bands in town so if you go to mraidnasbet.com you'll see live dates and click on those and those are all the separate links to the ticket sales so there you go thank you so much guys and lots of people coming in here saying hi all the way from england my goodness hi steve how's it going great show last week Thanks. I know. I can't wait. Guys, do you know who my guest is this week? It's Ava, my pal Ava. That chat was uh, one of my highlighted chats, you know, and um, it was just so fantastic to talk to Ava. And, you know, since then, she's added a little addition to her family, her beautiful, beautiful baby girl. And um her most beautiful creation yet and Ava is such a creative person and also she's doing lots and lots of stuff she is writing she is um you know doing uh podcasts and keep in, keep uh you know in contact with Ava on her socials um thank you so much Jennifer thank you for always tuning in and cheers from the blue springs hi Tim how's it going Celtic Spells has me hooked. <laughs> well, that's good, John. <laughs> I hope to see you in 2023. That's fantastic. Shilji, I recorded a new cover today. It's actually one of Ava's beautiful songs that I'm singing. I know. I heard you singing um, one of Ava's songs before. Um, Wildflowers, was it? I think it was Wildflowers. Um, you do a, such a great job on that. And um, what a beautiful song that, that um, Ava you know, composed and um, watching from Benjamin. Thanks a million. Watching from North Carolina. Hi from, oh, hi from Scotland. You, That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Lor Lorburn. Mm, that's a cool name. Um, very, very good. Hello from Ohio, Deborah. Hi. How's it going? It's so great to see you all. Diagwish from the east central coast of Florida. Parade with an M. 
<laughs> William Maxwell Wallace. Well, that's pretty Scottish. You can't get more Scottish than that. <laughs> Thanks, William. Thanks a million. I want to go back here to Paul. Paul um, in Florida. I just want to say hi, Paul. How's it going? Put up your comment. Hi, Paul. I miss you. Paul used to live around the East Coast. Now he's in Florida. <laughs> hiya, Paul. So I know I, I just had the most fantastic chat with Ava today's highlighted chat. And um, so, uh, you know, that's going to be up in a few minutes. And it was just such a treat. And I just want to play you a little, little bit. Now, I don't know if I'm sure, hopefully it won't be. Um, sometimes Facebook kind of doesn't like me playing my own music, guys, or YouTube. <laughs> so hopefully um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stay online here. And um, I just want to play you a teeny, teeny bit from my website because it's so important for you to support, um, like you always do, your favorite artists' websites. So here you go. And I hope that you like this and there's so many and so much great great things on the website lots of musical stuff of course the violin line the jewelry line all the musical stuff the accessories um my violins the bows and they're in every color and my custom rosin all the strings and um the cameo messages is a big one i did a lot of uh cameo personalized messages for uh, people for their graduations congratulations on all the graduates this year you i'd say you are so delighted that that's over <laughs> um fantastic and you know you're going to embark on your new lives and it was lovely to do those cameos so you'll get them all here and uh hope you like it <laughs> Yeah. So I purposely didn't put the music on there, guys, because I don't want anyone to, to uh, disrupt the webs, the, you know, the live stream. So there you go. Those are just a little, a few little things you can get on my website. Um, it's such fun. And of course, every time I get Kathleen Nesbitt's fiddle tutorial in, it sells like hotcakes. It really does. So, um, so it's really uh, fantastic to have it back again. So have a look at maraidnesbitt.com. I think you'll enjoy it. And um, it's just, you get so, so many great gifts for people. So I would love to um, get on to my highlighted chat for today. It's with the beautiful Ava. I hope you enjoy this, guys. Here we go. She's here. Hi, Hi Ava. Hello. Hello. So great to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I am very excited to be on your podcast. I watched all of the other ones and love them. So I'm just delighted to be a guest now. Thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you so much, Ava. And oh my goodness, congratulations on Loud. Thank what you. an amazing song. Thanks so much. Um, I was just watching it there and it's crazy. I know we're all going through a bit of a mad time at the moment and um when it all began just before lockdown um i had spent christmas with my family in australia it was kind of the trip of a lifetime we'd planned it for years and we finally got to go together and when we went over there there were all the crazy fires um all over the place and the sky mm -hmm. was completely you know yellow and it, there was fires everywhere you could smell them everywhere and it just sparked this really like deep feeling in me while I was over there and I was looking at all this imagery around me knowing that it probably wasn't reaching the rest of the world you know um I mean it was on some mainstream news but it was really it was it was really shocking to see so that was the inspiration behind the song and it kind of started then but actually it only came to light then in lockdown it was one of the ones that kind of penned you know the lyrics um and then during the lockdown then um I kind of just said look we're gonna get the head down here and just put these songs in place. So everything we did was done remotely. Even the video, that video is, you know, in my kitchen, which I love. 
because it's it just shows you how creative yeah. as artists we have to be at the moment you know we have to think outside the box um and yeah that that, that song it just epitomizes that for me oh my gosh ava i can't wait to hear the whole album because um you're so right when what you're saying and i remember that tragic tragic um earth tragedy really you know yeah. that uh, over in australia uh, of course as we all do and and your song is so very moving it's such a moving message and oh, it's such you. a powerful message to everybody you know we have to especially in this lockdown i think um you know uh musicians have been very creative but also I think us as a human race, we're, we're beginning to realize the amount of damage that we, we have done and that yeah. we are doing. Yeah. And we have to have more respect for the earth. And that's a powerful, powerful message in that song. And it's so amazing. Oh, thank you so much. That is something I always, in all of my songs, I have to mean it. Like every word has to come from somewhere. And um, every song has a story, which, you know, we, we were on tour together and we spoke about this all the time, but yeah. how important the story is and traditional music is obviously based all around that. Um, and I think if the song has a strong story, it will, it will, it will tell itself. Um, yeah. So it's something I'm so passionate about, but it definitely came from traditional music, which we have in common and whenever I was on tour I remember just always feeling so at home talking to you because I was so I don't I mean when we first went on tour I remember just being so out of my comfort zone and you really it was the traditional side of you you were like you're going to be okay this is what you do and we would talk about different tunes and yeah you were always so amazing to me Marie so thank you so oh, much. Oh Ava look it was such an honor you know when when you came in uh you know it really ignited the uh the traditional the indigenous music side of me the traditional music um uh, of course uh you know you're a Gaeilgore and and what that means everybody is you know Ava speaks beautiful Irish as does her mother um, um <laughs> as well and and hiya <laughs> and, you know so it's it's so important and you know we are very deeply rooted to the to nature and to earth and uh even the 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 celtic you know uh, irish uh tales little tales that i tell every week here are are very much um you know rooted to nature to the trees to the the, the everything and it, it has always been so important to us ava and i remember us kind of you know doing the um the talks changing the world every night on the bus yeah, and <laughs> yeah and like and talking about songs and dissecting the lyrics or even tunes i remember i would come into the room and i'd hum a tune to you and you'd be like i know that tune i'll come back to you with the name of it or you know um but i do think it's something that's so important in our music and it's something i definitely want to have lots of on the album is you know the imagery that we see around us all the time and how powerful that is and I really do think that, especially in these times, I know that this is kind of cliche, they say everybody needs music, but I do think it's one of the biggest healers. And yes. if we're writing music that is about nature and about feeling and healing, it will put that out into the world, you know? So yes. it's what I'm so passionate about. And I think it is what people need at the moment. You know, I, I have friends that wouldn't be music lovers necessarily, or it wouldn't be part of their everyday, but it has become part of their everyday. Yeah. because they finally have time to sit and think and relax and the music is allowing them to do that absolutely you're so right and you know uh, a, a major big part of your life ava is of course the irish language and yeah. uh, from growing up as i said before and you've done some uh, like the you've done some amazing songs and we uh, we do have we do have a few here <laughs> and uh, i i'd love to play this this song uh, Chassus, for for people because um this is this is such a beautiful song and you're working with the fabulous gavin murphy in yeah. this and maybe you'd like to tell us a little little something about this song yeah, so this is um, a song that I wrote and it's a, I actually wrote it while I was away. So it's another one. I have a lot of lyrics that have been hiding away for years, you know, and this was one that I actually wrote. I remember being in a hotel room and it was about missing the people that are back in Ireland, um, yeah. which we can all relate to, especially at the moment with people having to not see certain family members, maybe. But it's something that as a lockdown happened, I found these lyrics again and I just knew there was something special and that I was going to put a melody to it. And yeah, I've been working with Gavin Murphy. Um, like during the lockdown, I, I gave him a buzz. I, I, I worked with Gavin Murphy when I was probably 20, 
won and yeah. um, on my first song and I rang him up and I said listen you don't know me I'm young I'm I you know have I've sang with Anuna but I have this song and I really want you to work with me on it so I did the same to him during the lockdown I rang him I said listen I have songs here I know that we work really well together and so we put a few of the songs actually on uh, they went live and um, I put them up as videos throughout the lockdown for people but Chasuas was one of them and it's basically about missing the ones that you love and mm -hmm. that you know you want to let them know you will come back and yeah. that even if you're not there your heart is with them always yeah your so. heart is with them and it's just so beautiful Ava let's listen to this thanks I mean, I, it just brings tears to my eyes, you know, because um, it's it's really, you know, so powerful and so, so beautiful. Your ornamentation and everything in it is just full of heart, really Thank is. You. Well, I do think as well that's something that came out of this last few months for me anyway. And I have spoken to other people and they seem to feel the same. But as human, like humans have become more grounded and we become better to each other and yes. we're feeling more than we've ever felt and i've noticed kindness you know in people that i haven't seen before in years you know yeah. um and yeah that song it just even listening to it there i haven't listened to it in a while and i remember the day i uh sang it it was in the our living room because we were, we were kind of doing it remotely a, a video a week and yeah. that day i'd spoken to my grandmother who um, is 86 today actually I saw her today which was Happy amazing birthday. Um, yeah <laughs> um so she'll be watching this as well is it Shani Shani oh, <laughs> Happy birthday Shani oh. and um as you know Mairead she was my maid of honor you know she's one of my best friends in the world but the lockdown was particularly hard because I couldn't see her and yes. I remember singing that song that day and you can nearly see the tears in my eyes it was because it, it's not just for a you know my husband or it's for anybody that I long I was longing for and whether that was when I was away on tour or during the lockdown so but it's great today was a brilliant day and I got to see her and we didn't hug or anything we kept our distance yeah, but it but was got brilliant to see her on our it birthday did. yeah and she's just amazing so that's Bye. it every song like brings me back to a distinct moment and normally yes. it's like when I wrote the lyrics I can see and feel exactly where I was and then when I sang it, I can feel exactly how I felt. Do you have that as well? You know, with music. I, I do, I do. And, you know, I have to say, and lovely uh, comment here from Carson as well, Ava, I love to hear you singing in Gaelic. I miss it. It sounds, always sounds fantastic. And, of course, Carson is a huge support to us all. Yeah. And, you know, it does, you know, and I remember seeing uh, your whole family, Ava, you know, remember when we were over in Germany that time? Yes, that yes. And I got to see your beautiful, uh, beautiful Shani and, yeah. and just uh, all of them. And, you know, it's it's something that really I, I do feel it because I'm away uh, a lot uh, myself. And, um, you know, to try and get home to Ireland, you 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 almost feel that you feel your soul, you know, yeah. you center your soul. And um, it's it's so, so important. You know, I do think it's why people um can relate to and have such a deep feeling when they listen to irish music because i do think we are so rooted in family 
in nature, um, in the earth, in community. So when people hear Irish music, even if they don't uh, understand the language, um, and even if they don't, if they've never heard it before, it does something to them. It's like a primal instinct in them. Yes. And I yes. do think that's the beauty of our music. And it's such an honor to be able to write music in the Irish language and to try and promote yeah. its beauty and yeah. the importance of its, I suppose it's keeping it alive because that's the, that's the truth of it. You know, there's, it's, it's a, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I think it's yes. something that we need all, like oh, every Irish person, we are all proud of it, but I do think it's, um, it's something we all need to try in any way we can to use it or to spread awareness about its beauty. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, we're, I mean, there's loads of comments coming in. And here's Ryan. Do you have any favorite memories from Celtic Woman? Well, we, we used to have loads of sessions. Oh, uh, we did. <laughs> oh, Ray, do you remember the one in that hotel? And we all took out the instruments and we were singing and we were singing every tune under the sun. That was one of my happiest moments because it was, you know, the show itself, as I've heard you talk about on previous, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, it can be hard work and it's, yeah. you know, you're doing it every night, but this was completely off the cuff. Like we went back after the show all to go to bed and someone, I think you and Dara Murphy said, well, we take yeah. out the, the, the instruments and then one more person sat down and then another person sat down. And before we knew it, we were all around till all hours just playing music. And it was oh. just so, it was such a fabulous, that's one of my favorite memories, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> mine too, mine too. That was Dara. Dara got the got, guy, so he came up to me and goes, Mairead, will you get, do you think you'll get your fit, you know, get that your fit? <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, really, Dara? It's like, you know, one o'clock in the morning. Are you yeah. sure? You know, so the hotel said, yeah, no problem. So we were playing till about seven, weren't we? <laughs> and they, and the hotel loved it. People were like opening their doors all around to listen to us. And, uh, and, and you know, what's funny as well. I felt like that was one of the first times when I was on the road that I started to feel like yeah. myself, you know, that I started yeah. to feel comfortable. And it's like, that was my comfort zone was sessions. Like growing up in Coltis, it, it wouldn't be so yeah. much of, um, like a, a show in the format of a show. I didn't have much um, experience with that, which Mairead, I have to mention this, because we were talking about more. <laughs> when I joined first, I didn't even know what an in-ear monitor was. I'd never seen one, yes. heard of one, anything, but you like single-handedly took my hand and you're like, this is what it is. This is how you do it. And you just helped me through that whole time. Um, and then, it, and, and actually I'm so glad that I did um, kind of yeah. uh, grow that side of it because now I could, you know, I'll always, my most comfortable will always be in a session type environment. Um, but now I'm so glad that I am comfortable within your monitors and that I am able to open my eyes when I sing. Cause I used to just <laughs> sing like this. But you well, know, yeah. But you're you're in the moment, Ava. That's the thing, yeah. and that's why that's your whole style, you know. Yeah, and exactly. and um, listen, it was it was a really easy thing to do to give you a yeah. little bit of a stop, you know. It was, it was just <laughs> I, I I you know enjoyed it so much. And our first ever, I remember our first ever photo taken together, just ourselves, even a selfie, because we were so busy, we we had yeah. time to be taking selfies and posting on social media no. you know too much you know but I remember it was in front of the Sydney Opera House yes. and um I, I it's just what I you know we have traveled far and wide that's for we sure we have <laughs> and it's something definitely that no matter what Mairead like we could go a year without talking or two yeah. years but there's something when you've lived with someone and you've shared a stage it's such an intimate thing to do with people um, and it's a real honor that I can tell people that I have shared the stage with you. And Aww. even back in Ireland, Mairead, everybody you say it to here, they're like, the Nesbitt's, Mairead Nesbitt, you know? So <laughs> it is a real honor. And you did take me under your wing very much so when I came on tour and I'll always be so thankful for that. Uh, ah, yeah. well, thank you, Ava, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'll stop, you know, and it's so funny, you know, when you talk about families, because I know all your family plays and and your brother and, uh, uh, you know, great in the bar on and, and, and yeah. other instruments as well, whistle. And um, I know that, um, you know, it's so funny when I go somewhere, uh, somebody might say to somebody, are you any relation of Kathleen Nesbitt? 
And I said, yeah. well, yeah, she's my mother. And then someone else would say to me, are you any relation of Carol Nesbitt or Michael Nesbitt or, or Noel Nesbitt? Or, I said, yes, they're, they're all my brothers. <laughs> so That's the thing about Ireland as well. It's like, yeah, no, they're my relative. But, <laughs> yeah. but listen, Ava, getting back to your amazing album, have you have you come up with a, a name for the whole album? Because I know you've been really working hard. You have something mm -hmm. written like 36 songs or something that you've been yeah. writing. Yeah, and we've just been... It's been an amazing time. I felt for the last few years, um, the the writing side. I think it was to do with being really busy and just yeah. um, not giving, not like feeding that side of my soul, probably. And um, in the last kind of three months, I say for the first time, I've actually just slowed down, taken a moment, and I've written more than I've ever written. Um, right. Every morning, I would get up and I would be having these dreams, and I'd wake up and I could just sit down and in two hours have everything written out. Then I would send it over to Gavin and then we'd go from there. And even just the, that collaboration for me was so, um, oh, it was so exciting and it is so exciting. I don't have a, I don't have a definite name, so I won't, I won't say, but. Um, okay, good. But I, well, but listen, I, yeah, we'll, we'll look when I do, I'll that. let you all know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, no, it's been a really creative time and I'm very thankful for it. And it's funny, sometimes out of the darkest and hardest times, because I know this time is very difficult yeah. for a lot of people, you know, we can find light and we can find beauty. And like you said earlier on about supporting your, you know, your favorite artist, it's so important right now, yeah. because I do think if you love somebody's music or if you love their voice or if you love the way they play music or an instrument, you know, do support them, do try, yeah. because, um, you know, we are the ones that, we want to create stuff that can help, you know, yes. and that can do something to help yes. people in a dark time, you know? And mm -hmm. I think that's what's inspired me so much in this time is I want to write for my friend. I want to write for my mom. Mm -hmm. I want to write for my granny. I want to write for the person that I heard on the radio that's having a hard time, you know, that's mm -hmm. my goal. So um, I do think what you said earlier though is to support your artists um, so mm -hmm. that they can keep making the music and keep feeling inspired and, and not worried. That was amazing. Uh, just a, a lovely highlighted chat there with Ava. And I hope you all enjoyed that, guys. You know, I just love, love talking to Ava and just talking about the Shannos music and talking about Irish music and uh, the Irish language. And um, so I hope you enjoyed today and my little Maraid Monday moments. And, you know, uh, drop in on Mondays. You know, I'll be here most of the time. And I think I'm gonna be here next week as well. So I don't have many Maraid Monday moments left. So it was just so great to be with you guys. And uh, here's a tune on the viola. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Mwah.